And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Pitch It is a party game that has you pitching a product to people. Now, this is not a unique concept. In fact, I can think of, I think, four games that do this off the top of my head that have some kind of thing where you're pitching anything. But Pitch It takes it completely to the entire pitch. You are a marketing executive. You are going to sell something probably silly, but you have to do everything from coming up with a name to the slogan to the, to the uh, logo and then the actual pitch itself. So let's take a look at how the game plays. Here's the components that come in the game. You have a what are you pitching deck. You have a who are you selling to deck. You have a timer. You have pencils and you have some pitch it play sheets. And what you do on your turn is you will start the timer, but before you do that, you'll turn over the what and the who. So I might be selling underwear to tattoo artists, or I might be selling hand lotion to meteorologists, or I might be selling frisbees to window washers, I might be selling ear swabs to fishing boat crew members, and there's all different things you can sell sometimes though. <laughs> the things like selling chewing gum to librarians might be a difficult thing to do. But whatever it is, then it's time for you to come up with a pitch for your product. And so you use this pitch it play sheet. You'll write the name of your product, whatever you're deciding to sell, and then your slogan, and then you'll draw a picture of the product picture. So everybody does that as this timer is running out. Once the timer runs out, each person then is going to make a pitch to everybody else. They're gonna explain why they picked what they did. They'll explain, you know, the different names that they've that they've chosen as the game progresses and the different slogans that they have and they'll show their logos off and they'll tell everybody why that's a great idea and when it's done then everybody will write on the back of their sheets who they think has done the best presentation and whoever gets the most votes is going to get the most money and the game actually comes with a bunch of really cheap money i i don't really get the point of this if they were going to you know, to me, points is worth it in a game. But if you're going to put money in a game, folks, don't make it all white and really cheap quality. What's the point of it? That doesn't even look like money. It's just paper. Why not just keep track of points? But that being said, that's how you keep track of points. And then you start another round. And the first person to get to $5 million is, is the winner. And so you just keep going through turn after turn after turn. It's a pretty simple concept. You're writing these down, and you're probably trying to write things that make other people laugh or clever things with slogans and product names and drawing a little cool picture and then making a presentation. Here's the thing. Pitch It is going to work with a select group of people, but I think for most people, it's not going to go over that well. I think they did a good job at picking the number, uh, uh, picking the different categories of people you're selling to and the number of items. Although I'll say if the box is this big, I would have doubled the number of cards at least for even more variety and, and uh, you know, just gives you a more bang for your buck. Whenever you're doing a party game, it's great to have a ton of different uh, cards and things in it. And I think this one, it doesn't have too few, but it almost, it, it, it gets close to that. But the problem that I have with Pitch It is this. Some people don't like to draw. They don't. They don't like to play Pictionary or what have you. And so they're not going to like the logo part of this game. Some people don't like having to think up clever things. And that's where the logo and the name of the product come in. I mean, because you really do have to think up something clever if you want other people to vote for you. And then some people don't like the act of getting up and giving a presentation. Now, there are people who will like some of those and there's going to be people who like all of those. And for people who like all of those, this game is for you. But what I found when I played was that some people hated drawing and that part just drove them nuts. Other people hated actually giving the presentation and they basically just read what was on their thing. Other people would sit there and go, I can't think of a slogan to save my life. And when they did, it was lame. They thought it was lame. Everyone else thought it was lame and we felt bad for them. Um, and even I, some of the things I'm like, well, what am I supposed to do? How, you have to be super creative to be able to work with some of these things. And that's not a bad thing, a game that encourages creativity. If I was an English teacher, this would be a game I would use to encourage more creativity in the classroom. Um, I'm just... I'm just thinking that the audience for this is going to be limited. Then you add in the paper money, which is a pretty lousy way to keep track of points. And 
you know, it's just, it's an okay game. I think that in, in for some people, this would be fantastic. They'll love this game, uh, but they're going to have to be in a very specific group of people. And there already are some other games that do parts of this game, like the Big Idea, which has just the pitch part, which is a lot of fun, uh, or the Snake Oil. They do that part of the game better. And then there are other games writing funny things down, like Why Did the Chicken? This game tries to put them all together. And I think if you don't like one of them, it will throw the whole game off for you. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at Dicetowernews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at funagain.com. Shut the door! That's right. Shut it. Yeah. Yeah.